So, what is the full potential of mindfulness? It is this. Complete freedom. Complete freedom. Freedom from what? Freedom from all suffering. It's that powerful. So, ending of all suffering can be encapsulated in a single word. And the word is Dharma. So, the ridiculous example of Dharma is, is this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Banging your head on the wall. <laughs> if you practice mindfulness or you teach mindfulness in the context of Dharma, what does it look like? The first thing is you need to understand these four things. Understand the nature of suffering, causes of suffering, absence of suffering, and methods for ending suffering. So what does that mean? So using the the previous uh, ridiculous example, so I start by practicing mindfulness on my body. And then I realize every few seconds I pain my forehead. Ouch. Ouch. Nature of suffering. And then I practice mindfulness of my actions. And I realize, oh, I've been banging my head on the wall <laughs> once every few seconds. <laughs> Cause of suffering. <laughs> and I practice more mindfulness, and I, I sharpen my perception. And in sharpening my perception, I realize that in between banging my head on the wall, there are, there are instances or there are moments when there's no pain. Absence of suffering. And therefore, I mindfully not bang my head on the wall. <laughs> Methods for ending suffering. <laughs> so this is it. This is Dharma. <laughs>